This tornado was just enormous, cutting through Oklahoma City and its suburbs with monstrous force. Sam is on the scene. He was there yesterday, there again this morning. Boy, Sam, what a massive storm. Yeah, George, we've been on the ground since Sunday here in this part of the country. And by the way, this will be the fourth day of strong, violent storms that move through the same part of the country. And yeah, there's going to be more of it today. We're watching these storms roll above us right now. We've got a little bit of rain, but there could be some hail and some gusty winds and go through all this, uh, you know, with the st powerful storms moving through Oklahoma again today. Let's do this tornado by the numbers, though. This massive tornado that touched down here, touched down in the afternoon in Newcastle, roared all the way toward Toward more damaging on its way. It was a monster tornado. We don't have the official estimates yet, but we can only go by the eyewitness accounts that this storm was about a mile wide, terrifying as it moved toward this town, a town that had, had the same situation happen in 1999. Oh my God, that thing is getting huge. At 2.40 in the afternoon, the tornado warning was sent to the residents of Moore, Oklahoma to take cover immediately. This is a tornado emergency. Yeah, now it's, on, it's the on the ground. That's on the ground. Got a tornado. 16 minutes later, the estimated mile-wide tornado touches down, just as students are getting ready to be dismissed for the day. Shove it down! Estimated at the strength of an EF4 twister with winds of almost 200 miles an hour, it tears through the Newcastle Moore area for a gut-wrenching 40 minutes, damaging those schools and leveling scores of homes. Some buildings later catch fire. It is, it is just ripping up everything in its past. At 3.36, the tornado dissipates and the hunt for survivors begins. The house is gone. All the way to the ground. Her car looks like it's been run through a meat grinder. <laughs> Those devastating winds tore a 12-mile gash in the earth from That's Newcastle right. to Moore, destroying a swath of what used to be the Oklahoma City suburbs. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if people lived in that one. I honestly do not know if people lived in that. Just moments after the twister passes, helicopters capture survivors emerging to find their homes destroyed and rescuers working frantically, digging through debris to find others. We were pulling house, uh, walls off of people. Uh, there were people crawling out from everywhere and anywhere. It's basically just a war zone. Blocks and blocks of neighborhoods reduced to smoking piles of wood and brick. Cars twisted into mangled heaps. Overnight, the streets are covered in dark, wet debris as officers try to control the chaos. It's nighttime here in Moore, and there's been a steady stream of emergency vehicles coming right down, which is Southwest 4th Street. This is, by the way, right over there, if we turn the camera there, that's the Moore Medical Center that was so badly damaged in this storm. This morning, the numbers are devastating and heartbreaking. Rescue crews go door to door, making sure no one's still trapped beneath the rubble. Additional National Guard members have been deployed by Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon. This is going to be so difficult today because, as we said, there is a fourth day of these powerful storms, and folks are just trying to clean up and find out what's left here and more. Let's get to the boards, and we'll show you why this storm happened in the first place. The pattern that we're in right now, classic for May, and yes, we've had a quiet tornado season, but this is the pattern that delivers the big storms and the big tornadoes. All of that humid air rushing up from the Gulf, the cold air clashing against it, coming straight out of Canada, being fueled by the jet stream, and what the jet stream does is grab those storms, jump them up to incredible high heights and give room for these towering thunderstorms to develop that can carry tornadoes. Now, here's where this rolls during the day today. And catch this from Texas all the way north. We're a little concerned about that area, Dallas, Fort Worth, call it Arlington in that area, all the way to Waco, Tyler, even into Shreveport. This is an area of concern today for these powerful storms. Robin? It's so hard to believe additional storms headed their way, Sam. Thank you.